and told you people. First one's free. Then what I say? I said I will shut that shit down. No exceptions. Now, I don't know what kind of lying assholes you've been dealing with. But I'm a man of my word. First impressions are important. I need you to know me. So... Part two of the um, the book "How White Folks Got So Rich." In the in the second part, is basically talking about the Indian land grab, Red Holocaust, or the um, when the um, when the white man came over here and killed up all the Indians. Now, for some reason. Whenever you get to talking about race in the uh, comment sections and the um, in uh, racial country uh, racist controversial videos, there's always one Indian that will um, slip in there. Somebody who claims to be Indian will slip in there and be like, well, what about us? Well, this conversation just so happens to not be about you, but, you know, we know that you went through some shit, too. Y'all probably had it worse than us because, hell, y'all are damn near extinct. But y'all, you know, you got some kind of form of reparations. After, you know, what happened to y'all, y'all, you know, got your own land, Mm -hmm. something to that effect. But, you know, you shit it on nonetheless. But let's get to it. Um, I'm just looking through here, seeing what they got. I don't want to give you too much. Yeah, I really want y'all to go ahead and get the book. But, you know, this video here is mainly for white folks. Um, yeah, check this out. Between 1787 and 1871, America entered into over 400 treaties with the Indians and promptly broke every last one of them. President Andrew Jackson, um, he, he, um, he had the Indian Removal Act of 1830, which initiated a series of genocidal wars against the remaining Indian nations. The policy confined the survivors to about 310 reservations where they can be found today. Now, this is the this is the cream of part two. The Dawes Act. Uh, Massachusetts Congressman Henry L. Dawes drafted federal legislation enacted in 1887 which um, ordered the registering of Indians so that they could receive an allotment allotment of their own land. Now, that's kind of fucked up. How can you give them something or, or have them register for something that's already theirs? But let's keep going. But to get on the Dawes Rolls, Native Americans had to change their names to make them English sounding. Okay, I know y'all heard that. This allowed white officials to slip the names of their relatives and friends onto the Dawes Rolls and illegally reap for themselves millions of acres of land. In one state alone, the 138 million acres of Indian held land at the time of the Dawes Rose Act in 1887 had been reduced to 47 million acres by 
1934 when the act was repealed. Hmm. Okay, I know y'all hear this. Ultimately, the Indian Holocaust netted for the white man 2.3 billion acres of free land. Land that has a government estimated value of $4,000 per acre or $9.2 trillion. Y'all do the math. Are you still there? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like you're trying to speak. But you just took a hell of a hit. I just popped your skull so hard. Your eyeball just popped out. <laughs> And it is gross as shit. Man, God, I'll find you. Oh, hell. I can see this is hard on you guys. I am sorry. I truly am. But I did say it. No exceptions.